Hey, this is Bug Pad of Dust. Thanks for joining me for episode 73 of my Rimworld Rich Explorer playthrough. So for those who were following yesterday's episode, we are just in the aftermath of killing the 50 hives worth of bugs. Everybody's tired, everybody's injured. We are going to um, let everyone go and have a sleep before we do the inevitable tidy up. On the plus side, lots and lots of uh, bug meat to turn into chem fuel and insect jelly, which we have about a thousand. Now, quick announcement. Um, so for those who missed it, there's going to be no stream on Sunday. Uh, I'm away this weekend with the lads, going for sort of camping and all that good stuff. And next week I am off work doing decking in our garden, long overdue decking replacement. So at best, the um, videos for Rich Explorer are going to be patchy. At worst, there won't be any. So yeah, normal service will resume the week after. But I just thought I'd warn you all. <laughs> all right. Let's get on with this then. So, people are rescuing people. I think there's probably no need to kill the hives. The hives won't reproduce because there are no um, mega spiders left, so we can leave them until the morning. So, it's just so he's rescuing. We can actually. If I set their. I'm going to set their um, reaction to ignore, otherwise, I'll just stay out here and kill the hives. Um, so let me do that. Not you, me, but you three. Let's go to bed. You're going to bed. Anyone rest of What I do need to do is make sure that Komninos hands in those grenades, because that is an accident waiting to happen. Um, yeah, there's Komninos's normal plasma sword. Oh, okay, there's one more mega spider left. That's right, and there's another one coming through the door. I remember now, there's, there's, a, few, there's a few bads left here. There's uh, another mega spider there. Um, we had one coming up through here, which I think we we're going to deal with, and I th think that's it. Let me just check the the enemy's tab. So we've got one Spellipede, one Mega Scarab. Yep, I'd make that the same. So we'll get our guys to take it on when it appears. Uh, let's get the point to the back. Let's just mop this up quickly. Who's left here? Yeah, these guys can probably deal with this situation out here. We need to, we need to pick pick this thing up. Otherwise we'll forget. Sweet. All right, you guys can go. Let's fight the fire, please. That'd be great. Most things in here are dead. Most of the things here are dying. They've probably got enough damage to keep them down. All right, where's the Spellipedo? He's gone round. That's, yeah, I don't really want to have to chase him if I'm being quite honest. He's going to go round and come in, maybe? We can send. We can send these guys round. What have we got? Isla is ranged. Yeah, to be honest, I am good with those two going instead. Where's he gone? Oh, he's there. Okay. Shoot him. Shoot him. Put him down. One shot, please. One shot. One kill. Good enough. Let's rouse him up. Good enough. Thank you very much. You can go to bed. All right. Fires out. Is he just burnt or is he bleeding? He could quite easily get up again. All right, who have we got who's not too wrecked and who can go and finish off the spider? Um, but ba but um, Taroskos can probably do that actually. Melly to death. Yep, that's fine. All right, good. That's perfect, and we're going to make sure that everyone is on the good stuff, which they are. Goodish stuff. And uh, okay, we'll leave it there. We're going to catch up back up with the gang in the morning, where we will. Why is it showing enemies up here? What, what am I not seeing? Are they just the bodies? Oh, they're sleeping. Now. Okay, and that one's sleeping as well. Hmm. Okay, we need to be a little bit careful about these getting back up again. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set everybody to stay inside for now, I think. Um, I'll do stay inside for everybody, because then, although they'll find it hard to meditate, stay inside does allow them to go up to the med tree, though, so I need to keep an eye on that. Oh, actually, undergrounders, yeah. I'll do stay inside for now. They can meditate in the morning, and I'll be right back. 
Turns out it wasn't zoomed out far enough. I've actually got uh, almost 1,700 insect jelly, which is going to be amazing. I should be turning that into weapons and shock lances and all the other good stuff as well. Now, um, we've done the cleanup. Everything's dead pretty much uh, or dying, and we need to kill these hives, and then the cleanup begins. It takes such a long time to clean up after an insect raid. It's not even funny. Okay, I've just finished off all the hives as well. I've actually got 2,000, almost 600 insect jelly. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's a pain in the neck, but it does yield big rewards. I'm good with that. Okay, well, we've made a lot of progress. Um, we've done the considerable cleanup um, in here. We've expanded the hospital. Just made a little bit of a move here. We've moved the... So this table and chairs was in here, but we needed hospital space. The hospital was basically um, oversaturated with, well, people. <laughs> so we've moved this um, kind of... You finish your battle here, you can eat just to there. Um, I think six is kind of all right. Again, we're a bit stuck for space. Um, I've told uh, Yardy to come and clear, clear up as much of this as he can, but um, he does seem to be uh, pontificating and not actually finishing the job. We've um, collected in all the insect jelly. Uh, we've put that in our area here. And one thing I have just realised we might not have in that fridge, which is an oversight, is one of these bad boys, Trade Beacon. Now, I can't see if we have one in here, unfortunately, but if we don't, it means that we can't sell this stuff to a passing spaceship, an orbital trade beacon. I'll put in two of these things just to cover the the area. I don't think we've got one in here. I can't see any leads or wires, um, so it's entirely possible we don't. So that's a little bit of an oversight. Fix that anyway. Um, right, so what time is it? Seven in the morning. going to get everyone to eat, and then we are going to go and smash up Marulo Nation. In fact, you might do two. Because you've got four people who've got fast skip, just for the sheer hell of it, they've got they've got it coming to them. So we're going to go and smash up maybe this one first, and then we'll smash up this one. They're both in range of our transport pods. We have two transport pods ready to go. Reese is going to be the forward scout as usual. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Just uh, get everyone to eat, and then we'll go. Yeah, I've just made a bit of a boo boo. That's uh, <laughs> Nikita's crocodiles. We want Marulo Nation. Don't go knocking down the wrong bases, honestly. Uh, okay, we'll take this one. Brezgabeson. Because um, these are our friends and they're obviously in the vicinity causing problems. So we're going to go and smash those up. All right, Reese, let's go. Launch. These chaps um, drop at edge. All right, let's see what, see what we're dealing with. Very curious to see how many people we're facing. Now, normally it's about 15 or so with the Empire. How many is it going to be with the Marulo Nation? All right, dropping the swamp. Sploop. Let's take a look. Hmm, okay. 18. Probably a couple inside. Now, the loot here will be terrible, but... Oh, I'll take these bedrolls. I always need bedrolls. It's very, very useful indeed. Um, it's got red hair. Very good. So there's going to be no armor or anything here worth a, worth a darn, but they've probably got lots of drugs that I can take. So that works for me. Um, now, in terms of arms and armor, there's a spread of melee and ranged... Where are we going to take them? It's all very open here. don't like that very much. Probably going to set up here. This is probably the nearest point where they have to come around and attack. So I am good with that. So Reese, if you can make your way over to here. Pref ah, can you not? Ah, it's deep water, isn't it? That puts us a little bit close. A little bit close. Do you know, I am... They don't have long, long range. They've got bows and arrows, but I'm going to actually set up here. Straight fight. Different tactics needed. So that's good with me. Okay. Um, Scarborough, you can take the opportunity to take us out, please. Let's make sure we've got you all done. Yep. There's nobody. Yardy's not in the group, is he? He might sneak in, but let's hope not. Um, now, where was it? Where was it? It was this one, wasn't it? Skipped around the ally. Beautiful. Okay, let's do this. Get ready to come down. No turrets to, to watch out for. I'm loving it already. Doesn't get much better than this. All right, let's get uh, let's get a few people in here. I'll kind of fine tune it in a minute. Hicklin, uh, we actually have a leg for Hicklin's um, leg has gone, so we we have a le bionic leg for him made, which we'll sort him out with. Um, okay, snipers come to the front. You got the range. They are aiming at something. Good. Uh, Trosis's top arms isn't. 
Ah, maybe that does the masterwork rifle give him extra range, or perhaps he's just one square out, probably. All right, let's put the um, shooters in, like so. Let's move out the the melee fighters over there. Not a great deal of cover. Um, again, melee over here, just so I can move them out. Okay, Hicklin over there, Porcupine can go there. Okay, no one's in range yet. Let's move up the snipers a little bit. Kalisti can go there. Zekas. Ah, oh, they're aiming. Oh, nice. Hit a Vescu. Right leg shot off. Good. Any prisoners we get, by the way, we're going to take back and take the, take the organs out. Just for uh, maximum pain and suffering. Because I think we need a couple of lungs with people. Okay, here they come. All right, melee troops. Looks like they're coming up here. Oh, someone's gone down. Galga. Oh dear, Galga. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Four hours. Hmm. May not be able to grab you in time. We shall see. Okie dokie. Who's got jump packs? It was Lorenzo, wasn't it? Lorenzo, I think, had jump packs. Lorenzo. Where is Lorenzo? Uh, nope. Lorenzo didn't have jump packs. Who had the ah Savannah? No. Someone had the locust armor. For heaven's sake! <laughs> it shouldn't be this difficult, should it? Who's got the Who's got the um? Who's got the locust armor? Is it Hicklin? Hicklin, of course it is. Hicklin, there you go, my friend. All right, Hicklin's gonna gonna get busy. Okay. So I was just going to come up. Freckles needs to get one cover. Oh, so does Reese. Reese shouldn't be in with the pack. No, 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 no. Reese, go, go there. Right, everybody. So you two at the back can attack you. You two can attack you. You guys can attack you. Hicklin, getting stuck right in. Very good so far. Very good. What did you die of? Sniper rifle. Boom! One shot, one kill. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Lorenzo. Take drug. What drug have you got? Is that Penoxy, I'm just, I assume? Yeah. All right, Lorenzo. You can get stuck in there. Taruscus with... Actually, probably with you. You, me, with you. Comninos. We're going to go lend some support to Hicklin over here. He's looking a little bit outnumbered. Has anybody got jump packs? Yeah, Squirt has. All right, Squirt's going to jump in, and these two are going to come over to here. Nobi takes on. Oh, you're getting wrecked. You're getting wrecked, my friends. Hicklin is taking a little few stabs here. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Oops. Hicklin. Oh, no, sorry, wrong person. My bad. <laughs> You three can come down to here. Attack this dude. You me, you're on you, you're on you. They're fleeing. No, they're not. Not a single one of you, if I can avoid it, is going to get away from this. You're attacking you, you're attacking you. You've got another one on that one. Flanker's going to chase down a hyena. Got a couple of people left here. We are picking up a little bit more damage than I probably would be. Charge lads, did somebody shoot Diocus? <laughs> Anthusia. That's not very clever, is it? Right. Uh, melee attack. And melee attack. Oh, somebody hit. Somebody hit Lorenzo. Who was that? Poor Poise. Hmm. No, no, no. No one's getting away. No one's getting away. Everybody shoot this dude, please. Double E. Squirt, don't bother chasing. We're going to carry on down here. Attack this chap. You, me. You. You're on you. You guys are on you. Every single one. Squirt, you're on you. Hicklin, you're on you. 
Diocus. Uh, oh, it looks like Armadillo's going to get away. We can't have that. Hicklin. Go get Armadillo. Not a single one of you is going to escape this. You brought this on yourselves. Don't blame me. Hicklin, Hicklin doesn't have a leg. That's a problem. Okay. That's a big problem. Hicklin, there. That'll do. Sweet. Good. Are we done? Who are you? Who are you firing at? Bear. But he's down. They don't normally fire at downed pawns. That's it's very interesting. And looks like <laughs> come on, friendly fire. Oh boy. Okay. Um, let's quickly. Right. What we're going to do? We're going to stabilise these folks now because we're going to take them back with us. Are we? My. My lot's mood's on the knife edge, and I think harvesting lots of lungs and bits and pieces is just going to tip them over the edge, so sadly that's not not probably the smartest thing to do. I think I'll just take pride in the fact that none of them left the map. Everyone died. So um, let's have a quick, a quick gander at what's in the loot boxes, which we have here. <laughs> and uh, let me just claim everything. I'll be right back. Yeah, as expected, the loot is pretty terrible, but they got some... I think I'll take these bedrolls. Bedrolls are always, always useful, especially when we have caravans split off from the main force. They need to take caravans. Got some pemmican. Other than that, it's pretty poor. Marble beds, really? Ooh. Okay, uh, that is fine. I think we are going to get out of here. We are done. Good job, Picklin. Picking him up. Right, let's get our people back on the... On the world map and we're going to jump back and then we're going to come and smack another one all right we're done back on the map so we're now going to fast get back we'll probably use diocus for this and jump him back to Bloop. boom beautiful i love it all right everyone unload and whatnot we brought back some wooden chairs with us and stuff as well so because we are a little bit short of wood on this map believe it or not so um what's hicklin doing he, is he changing Tending to Hicklin. No, he's tending to himself. Good lad. <laughs> Smart moves. Big brain. All right, Yardi's cracking on with um, clearing up this, which is great. So almost back to normal in here. We've had a couple of people to change out of cataract armor. Squirt Hicklin. Uh, Lorenzo's going to have to take his off very shortly, so we need more cataract armor. We'll let people patch patch up, sort themselves out. Hicklin could actually do with. I'll tell you what, after you've done that rest. And no sooner are we just unloading stuff from that quick raid that um, Randy seems to have got a taste for infestations. And we've got one coming up here. Now what I think has triggered this is this area down here. Because this area down here is occupied, I don't know if dead bodies cause occupancy. I think they probably do. What it's done is it's kind of shifted its spawn maybe over here because we have not had any infestation spawn since I blocked up this area. And I've been very careful not to... Un, uh, reveal, sorry, any overhead mountain, which I th clearly I've done here. I've not really thought twice about it. Hmm, okay. Well, that's that's a problem. How many, it's not too big an infestation, I think maybe 20 hives or so, it's not too bad. I'm probably going to of course in here is not ideal. I can I make my stand? I want to try and choke point them, but Hum. I have to think about this. Okay, let's deal with this. We're going to evacuate. We're going to actually make a stand up here. It's a little bit more bandwidth, I think, for people to come in here. Savannah needs to get the hell out of there. All right, Isla. Thank you. I need to deconstruct that. There's no reason that's there. Actually, Isla, could you deconstruct that? That'd be great. That's an awful lot. Why is that door not shutting? Why is that door not shutting? That's bad. That door needs to be shutting. Why is that door not shutting? <laughs> That's not great, Yardy. Trigger it. Come back. Come back. Come back. Door shut. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Good. Right. 
Lorenzo, that's kind of wrong place, wrong place. Bad times you're playing poker, my friend. Okay, that's not that's not so bad. Eight hives. Savannah. Can we skip Savannah out of there? Um, who has got skip? Somebody must have skip. Nobody here has got the spells. Bad. The spell casters are coming. Maybe a little bit too slow. Savannah's going to take a bit of a beating. Yep, no one's got spells here either. And that's not a great shooting position. Right, well, let's wait till they get stuck in. Um, let's the front. You can go there. Oh my god. No, what's a tell lie? Sorry, it's 23 hives. That's, that's actually really bad. Okay. Problem. Big, big problem. Bugs, man. Bugs. Right. Right. Let's get in the doorway. <clears throat> Lorenzo's got big problems. So he can move at 2.25. They can move considerably quicker. Lorenzo is going to have to make a stand. And we're probably going to lose... Lorenzo's going to go down. How badly hurt is Orc? Not very. What can Orc do? Quite a bit. Orc, I think we need you for this one. Hicklin? Hicklin, can you tend yourself? And Cobra's got some good skills. Let's go Pulse. Well, maybe not so much, actually. But Orc we could do with... Um, Orc can get up. Come to that. All right. Savannah, go down, for God's sake, go down. Ah, Squirt. Squirt just doesn't have skip, does he? There's nothing he can do. You guys. Callisti has got skip. Alright, Callisti, can we get you over to here? Callisti, over to here. Savannah's down. Okay. Ten hours. Alright, we can probably do that. Lorenzo, got to fend for yourself, my friend. Um, yeah, walk. What have you got? Okay. I'm thinking a little bit of a berserk on one of their main ones. That'd be quite good. And a blinding pulse. don't have any melee troops in here whatsoever so we need to get these guys out of here it's a long way around I'm finding again that there's gaps in my base defense that I need to fix Lorenzo's hang maybe they can go and help Lorenzo that's not a bad idea actually right you guys come over here up to here okay Yumi berserk pulse Should keep him busy. Um, water skip is prob. No, that's my fires. That's okay. Blinding pulse, smoke pop, skip shield. So you know, I need them not to be set on fire. I learned this lesson last time. Can let's go back and flank to come down. Okay. Good. They're not coming through. That's excellent. Okay, they, they've taken the bait, so we want somebody to take the hits. Nardi, go here. You all can be the one who's taking hits, my friend. What? Heavy fur duster. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Orc. Can we, can we help, help him out here? Let's have a look. Um, yeah, actually, skip could be quite useful. No, 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 no. Skip. Skip you. Back. Sweet. Okay, how are we doing here? How's the, um, how's the pulse doing? 
Yeah, it's looking good. Melee attacking Mega Scarabs. I like that very much. Uh, Yumi is still on the overheat for a considerable amount of time. Fortunately, we have Viana. Always, always happy to to lend a hand with this. Um, Berserk Pulse still can't do it. I might, um, I might get to dump heat onto Viana. Berserk Pulse again. Again, people at the back, I think. Okay, how are you doing here? Beautiful. Good job, Lorenzo. Lorenzo kicking backside and chewing gum. Absolutely love it. Good. Good work. Lorenzo has actually come out of that okay. Well done to these guys as well. Some good backup. I think we can probably... Now we have a fighter, a melee fighter here. It might not be a bad idea to maybe lend an assist. So we're going to get everybody here to come back around. This is really crowded, isn't it? Ooh. Um... Yeah, Right, Yumi has the cooldown going. Still not enough. We have to get you down to uh, 25, I believe. Okay, you got stun, we got chaos skip. No, that's any good. Porcupine, what can we got? Pain block, vertigo pulse. We just want to make some more pukey, is this one, isn't it? Don't worry, Viana. We'll get to it. Picking up lots of. Oh, no, actually, no, Truscus is actually okay. Wow. Oh. Bruises and stuff. Um, can I do an another heat up on Viana? <laughs> Sadly not. Right. Another go vertigo pulse won't go amiss. I can't. There we go. Right, so while they're doing that, let's get. Lorenzo to the front. Okay, Yardi can go down there. Move out of the way. Move up. Race. Move up. Lorenzo, open the door. Come back. Should take a little bit of the pressure off here. Right. Porcupine. I hear fires. That's not good. Right. Porcupine's got water skip, hasn't she? Yumi, how cool are you? You're 30. Okay. Mischief managed. Oh, the door shut again. Oh, I thought we held that open. Right, let's do it again. Yumi. Berserk. No, still not. Okay. How much is that? 65. Oh, we've got to get out of 15. Right. Okay, Porcupine. Another Vertigo Pulse would be extremely useful. How are you doing for damage? We are doing uh, lots of cuts. Okay, I need to get Taruscus. I need to rotate Taruscus out by the looks of it, and get uh, Cornelius in. There we go. Okay, it's doing well. It's doing well. Lovely. Uh, where are we? Porcupine. Can you come to? No, you can't. Okay, water skip. Let's do another water skip. Can't reach it. Hum. Can you can't come around these hydroponics basins, can you? Okay, Orc, have you got water skip? You have got not water skip. Squirt's got water skip. I can't see. Is anything left in here? What was that? What's hissing? I hope that's my smoke pot. I hear something hissing, but I can't see it. Is that... Oh, it's there. Smoke pop. Oh, brilliant. Okay, that works. That works. I like that my um, my fires are resistant to, to uh, smoke pop. Okay. One dude left. Let's move in the... Let's come and get this dude. Okay. Right. Everyone can come in now. 
excuse me, and start killing these hives. Guys, just don't be silly. You probably don't want to stand there. Oh, there's loads up there. Oh, we're, we're in amongst the chem fuel. <laughs> That's not so good, is it? Scurrybury, I need you to get up there and use your... Guys, stop firing at the chem fuel. That's just silly. Silly, silly, silly. I need Yumi and Komninos to come up here. Kill. Gosh. And then melee attack. No, you're not put them here. Right. Savannah's down from earlier, right? Okay, Savannah needs rescuing. Uh, so porcupine, can you rescue Savannah? Whew. Okay, more bugs, more jelly. How much are in total now? 4,315. Dear God, that's a lot. Unfortunately, their um, their very impressive barracks has now turned to awful. But at least it's still indoors. Okay. I need to manage this a little bit. Let's put everyone on ignore again. Uh, where's the ignore option? I can never remember where that is. Assign. We're going to set to ignore. Okay. And I'm going to release them. Yeah, they've got to haul it. All right. So Komninos is going to attack that one, then that one. Alright, Yumi, can you save Rescue Savannah? Is it just Savannah who went down? I think it was, wasn't it? Now... I need you to really attack Hive, perfect, yes. Okay, I think that's all the Hive's got now. Don't believe there's any more. So, Communos, thank you very much. You can go. All right, well, we come to the end of an, I'll start again. We'll come to the end of another episode where we've got a massive cleanup task on our hand, but at least it's confined to one room this time, I guess. <sighs> More bug bodies than I know what to do with. I still haven't really cleaned up this lot. That's absolutely shocking. There's so many dead bugs. Anyway, I'm going to um, block this up with wooden walls to make sure this I don't get any more infestations because they're just a pain in the neck, as you can see. All right, anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll have to clean up the mess at the start of the next episode. So, yeah, you take care of yourself. I don't know when the next episode is going to be. Um, I'll try and do one, certainly, next week at some point. But in the meantime, you do take care of yourself. And I will catch you very, very soon. This is Buck, putting the plug.